Meditate and work without attachment by the Venerable Renzo. But even so, humorously, you go on doing things. Humor is the state of mind that is relaxed and free from attachments. For example, if you are walking without unnecessary solemnity or self-consciousness, light-heartedly walk toward the open space of truth. You can meditate in this way while walking. When you sit, be the stronghold of truth. As you eat, feed your negativities and illusions into the belly of emptiness, dissolving them into all-pervading space. And when you go to the toilet, consider all your obscurations and blockages are being cleansed and washed away. Everything is created by the mind. When you meditate in this way, it's effective. Don't think, is this just daydreaming? Does it work? In reality, it does. Even if you are daydreaming, it still creates karma and will bring about consequences. If you meditate in this way, it will yield the corresponding result. So what really matters is not just the practice of sitting, but far more the state of mind you find yourself in after meditation. Meditation is about using the right method to cultivate mindfulness and contemplation. So, what state of mind will you attain? After you engage in mindfulness practice, the corresponding state of mind will certainly arise. It is this calm and centered state of mind you should prolong through everything you do. Because if your mindfulness practice goes well, such a state of mind will naturally continue without being forced. It will naturally flow in this way, and the dreamlike and illusory state of mind can be maintained. As long as you continuously meditate with the right method, you will naturally maintain the state of mind, as it has a continuity. Don't exert too much effort, and don't keep thinking of maintain it, keep it. Attachment is never right. Just use the right method and the result will naturally arise. Don't be too attached to the result. I like the Zen story in which the disciple asked his master, Master, how do you put enlightenment into action? How do you practice it in everyday life? By eating and by sleeping, replied the master. But master, everybody sleeps and everybody eats. But not everybody eats when they eat, and not everybody sleeps when they sleep. Ordinary beings are like this. When they eat, they are picky discriminating which is tasty and which isn't. When they sleep, they are entangled in chaotic dreams. This shows their strong attachment and discrimination. Some people are fine with any food available, even if it doesn't taste good. As spiritual practitioners, no matter what food is provided, whether it is tasty or not, we should be able to eat normally without discrimination, vexation or aversion. Let's first achieve this goal. Maintain a good state of mind while eating anything. When we sleep, we should try 
not to be caught in chaotic dreams. This is difficult because once you fall asleep, you cannot control your dreams. Therefore, during daytime, we should practice more, be content with fewer desires, and diligently repent to eliminate our negative karma and stay away from mental distractions. By doing so, you won't be caught in chaotic dreams when you sleep. This is not easy to achieve. The state of the Zen master, when I eat, I eat, when I sleep, I sleep, is very high. And if you really wish to achieve this, what you need to do is not just practice as if it were an occasional medicine or therapy, but as if it were your daily sustenance or food. Food sustains your life. In other words, at this stage, spiritual practice is as important as food. Without food, you cannot survive. Similarly, without spiritual practice, you cannot move on. That is why one excellent way to develop this power of integration is to practice it in a retreat environment, far from the stresses of modern day life. In the beginning, you need to spend a long period of time practicing in a tranquil environment to let this state of mind continue during meditation. Then you may maintain this state of mind while living a simple life. Finally, you can gradually test and elevate your state of mind in the modern city environment.